Okay, so welcome to another series of Essential FPV Tools. And in today's episode, we are going to be diving into beepers. So these are going to be some tiny but crucial device that can make a difference between fighting or losing your FPV drone after a crash. So as the word says, beeper basically makes a loud sound to help you locate your drone. I, and I do think this is a must have for every FPV setup. So we're basically just going to be breaking down the beeper category into three levels. I'm going to give you a quick summary of each level so you can decide which one suits you the best. For this video, we will mainly use ViFly and HGLRC product for demonstration. Do know they are not the only options out there. I just personally use and have them on my desk. All right, let's begin. Okay, so let's start with the first level. So at first level, it will basically just be a little small beeper module like this. There's basically going to be nothing. This is the thing that actually makes the beep sound. So you will need to solder it directly to your flight controller. And since it doesn't have its own battery power source or external power source, it relies on your quads LiPo battery for power. In general, you can only activate it by manually flipping a switch on your radio. So basically, your flight controller tells it to beep and that's when it beeps. So if your quad battery gets ejected or runs out of power during your crash, the beeper will not work. And it's like you just never have a beeper. So this is the downside of this one. But the good side of this, this is the, probably the cheapest one that you can get because it's just a small module that, yeah, you have nothing on it. Okay, so this brings us to the next level. A beeper module basically gets integrated into a PCB board also with an external battery. And this level is what most of the people are going to be using because I think this is uh, mostly widely available on the market. It does still require the pilot to solder the beeper to the flight controller, but you can see that there's a plug right now. So you just have to solder a plug for you to plug it in. So however, this time, besides only be able to activate using your radio switch, the beeper now has a battery built in and it will automatically start beeping in case the main quad battery loses power. So besides this, certain brands like the Vifly Finder version 2 does also have additional functions included in like built-in light sensor that will detect light intensity and then smartly control the LED light to flash in dark and at the same time force the beeper function into sleep mode to save up power and to prevent waking up all your neighbors. So this is a very good function because at night, basically sound, it's relevant, but you can see light a lot more better. So that's a very good function. Now let's talk about the next level, which is my personal favorite, the wireless option. So the ViFly Beacon, this beeper basically inherits most of the pros from the ViFly Finder 2, but its biggest breakthrough is that it is wireless right now. You do not need to solder it onto your quad. Just a quick zip tie or stick it on your quad and you're good to go. Okay, so as there is no physical connection to the ViFly Beacon, you do will have to charge it to in order for you to use it so in, to charge you just basically plug in a USB-C cable right here and it's basically going to start the charging function and then once it's done charging yeah basically you're good for about 30 hours well so this is not bad at all and additionally speaking like you might be wondering how does this thing activates when there's a crash because there's no connection and there's no like battery indicator to let this thing know like I'm losing power I need to activate so what Wi-Fi did is actually they implemented a motion sensor into this thing so basically the motion sensor will be detecting any crash movements or whatever that is basically those kind of like very rapid shake and it's going to be activating and it's going to activate the beeper so let me just give you a quick demo so to activate it it's pretty simple to make the beeper start working we will have to arm it first like any quad so what we have to do you have to long press this button about three seconds you can see that there is a light lighting up okay so this is an indication that is ready to be functioned okay so we're just basically going to slam this really hard on the map right now and it should activate the beeper function so about 30 seconds it should be activating the main beeper source so the battery so that's when the battery is going to kick in so let's wait about 30 seconds 
So you can see that this is the actual sound. Oh, I don't want to wake up my neighbor, so let's turn it off. So to turn it off, simply just press the button. All right, so basically back to the topics. I do think that Wi-Fi Beacon is going to be the most convenient and most easily to set up because you just basically there is no pre-installation whatever required. However, there is a downside is you have to remember to charge it and you have to remember to arm it in order to use it. If you took off and forgot to arm it, basically that's it. You, It's basically good as gone. So this is something that you probably will have to pay attention to the Wi-Fi beacon. Anyway, I guess this wraps us up this video. And if you like to check out any of the beepers, there's going to be a link down below for you to be able to check out the product. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.